All right, this next video is going to be just a standard oil change, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and look around at some different components underneath to make sure we ain't got no leaks, anything like that. Double check a few things. So uh, first step is you wanna go ahead and get the front end off the ground. As you can see, I have a set of ramps, so I went ahead and just drove mine up on the ramps. Uh, I don't drive it up the whole way just because I only need enough room to get under there. So, I mean, it's up to you how you want to do it. I mean, I've got a stone driveway, so I don't want it too high. All right, so uh, get it up off the ground, and then we'll uh, get underneath and start taking the belly pan off. All right, so underneath, you're going to go ahead and take off your belly pan, which is this whole area here. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of bolts. We've got one here. You move over. You got another one. So you got two right there. You're going to have one over here, one over here, and one over here. So those three got to come off because you're going to separate the front one from the actual belly one. And then you're going to have some more towards the back here. So I'll go ahead and move back there and I'll show you uh, where all those ones are at. Alright, so moving our way back. As you can see here, we've got an actual nut back here. Another one straight across. Alright, then moving all the way back to the very back, right next to your catalytic converter, are going to be your last two. There's one there, one right there. So we'll go ahead and take those off and we should be able to drop the belly pan now. And all those are 10 millimeter, so should be able to get it all with the same socket. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We'll drop the belly pan and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so now we've got our belly pan out. I went ahead and pulled it out from under the car. And this is one of the things you're gonna wanna check over. You're gonna wanna go ahead and look around. And as you can see, I got a little bit of uh, something leaking right there so we'll go ahead and inspect that and you can just kind of look around see if you got any leaks on there and then you can uh, trace it underneath where it's at that way you can help you find the leaks um, that leak right there is actually oil and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and investigate that now it looks like it's coming from my oil filter so uh, if you're all clean no wet spots then you're good to go ahead and start draining your oil get started all right, now we're going to go under here, and as you can see, the front pan here, this right here, that's your uh, oil pan, right towards the back corner here, that's your oil drain plug. We're going to go ahead and take that off and uh, start draining our oil into our oil pan here. And as you can see, looking over here, we've got some oil drippage right here, which is probably where it was coming from on my belly pan because this is right in the vicinity so uh, looks like it just kind of sweated off of here but we're gonna go ahead and just double check and make sure I ain't got no leak above that and it's uh, coming down onto the top of the filter and just kind of looping around dripping onto the belly pan so uh, that's where my oil leak was coming from um, if you got it in other areas you know it could be pretty much coming from anywhere so uh, go ahead and start draining the oil, and then we're going to check the transmission area, make sure we ain't got no leaks down there. We'll go ahead and uh, check our shift linkage, make sure that our shift linkage isn't coming loose. And then uh, we'll go ahead and cap the oil and uh, fill her up with oil. All right. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a... Uh, 16 millimeter here. That's what size the uh, bolt is. We're gonna go ahead and loosen her up. And do her by hand. Make sure we got our pan lined up here. It gets a little messy. Take her off and now we got her draining. So we'll go ahead and let this drain completely and then we'll uh, move on back there and make sure our transmission's good. 
All right. Now that we got that drained where it's kind of just dripping out, I got a big enough pan here that I can move it up under the filter area and still catch it. So we're gonna go ahead and move it back towards the filter and then and go ahead and take your filter off. There's different methods. I mean, you can get a filter wrench in there, the end cap filter wrench, or you can just use your hand. Um, I tried out this. This is the first time I've ever used this purulator filter, so I'm going to double check and make sure it's not because of the seal. Otherwise, I probably won't reuse another one. And uh, the bad thing is I just bought another one, so... My next oil change, I'll probably end up changing this to something else if it's an, if it ends up being the seal that's leaking. But uh, I'll go ahead and remove this by hand. We'll let that drain out, and then we'll be ready to cap up the oil and get it ready to uh, reinstall our new oil. So as you can see, I went ahead and loosened that up, and now we're going to go ahead and take it off here and screw it then you can pull it off and tip it down all right I don't see any anything leaking up in the front main seal area there so it more than likely was the uh, seal on that oil filter. So I'm going to go ahead and check that out once I get this all drained out. And uh, make sure my oil filter is uh, seated better this next time. And probably end up switching filter companies after this. But uh, I'll go ahead and let this drain out and then uh, reinstall the new filter and the drain plug. And then we'll go ahead and shoot on down to that transmission and the shift linkage make sure that's all good before reinstalling our belly pan all right if you've never uh done an oil change before you want to go ahead and get your filter and anytime you install a new filter what you want to do is actually pour just a little bit of oil in this area dab your finger in it and you're going to want to use that oil to uh, go ahead and lubricate this seal up. That way uh, gets a nice little surface right there. Um, sometimes I put a little on the threads, thread it in, then you'll get it to seat up nice. And uh, yeah, once you do that, you can go ahead and uh, install in your filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that there. Open up our oil. Pour just a little bit. Take our finger, go ahead and get a nice little film on your gasket here. And now we're all set, we'll go ahead and install that, put the drain plug in, and uh, we'll be ready to add oil. All right, we uh, got our new filter in, reinstalled our drain plug back there, so uh, let's go ahead and scoot back here, keep going back, and now we're back over down to the transmission, and as you can see here, you got your transmission pan right here, which would be the one with like the little vents here and that helps cool the transmission fluid so go ahead and look around 